the fact. Big K, why does my shamisen always go out of tune? Excellent question, Stacy. When newcomers tune up their shamisen for the first time, often they'll notice that quite quickly the strings will lower in pitch. They tune up again, start playing, and soon after the strings will lower in pitch again. Why is that? It's a very good question. Because there's not a lot of practical information about shamisen available, many folks don't realize that the shamisen abides by the same laws of physics that apply to every other instrument. Surprising to me, I've even heard someone on the internet say, uh, the reason why shamisen goes out of tune is because it's a shamisen. It's simply what a shamisen does. Now that sounds like it would be a great joke, uh, but it was said in earnest and is utter nonsense. Uh, if a shamisen is set up right, in my experience, it will almost never go out of tune. If it's set up right and you understand how the elastic-like strings behave. First, we have to know a fact that's true for every single stringed instrument, including shamisen. Fundamentally, it's the tension of the string that gives the pitch we want. As we tighten the string, we increase tension and the pitch raises, decrease tension and the pitch lowers. True for guitar, violin, and of course, shamisen. Now, there are a few reasons why the shamisen goes out of tune. The first two relate to the nature of the strings, and the others relate to possible issues with how the shamisen is set up. First, let's tackle the nature of the strings. Uh, number one, perhaps the strings are new. Just like any musical instrument, Brand new strings will stretch out. Silk, nylon, even metal. If they're new, tightening the strings will cause them to gradually stretch out. Now, stretching is different from tightening. Tightening the string means we're basically pulling the string from this point here to the uh, itamaki. We're pulling the string. Separately from that, the string is stretching. Like if we stop tightening, the string is going to naturally relax and get longer. As it gets longer, without being tightened, the string will get slack, and it's the slackness that lowers the tension, which lowers the pitch. Thus, we will need to tighten the string again to remove that slackness and return the string to the tension that we want, to get the pitch we want. The frustrating thing is, doing so will cause the string to stretch out again, but it's necessary, and today we'll find out why. I'll demonstrate with my shamisen, which currently has brand new strings which have never been tightened. So let's start by tightening the strings until we reach the pitches we want. I forgot my tuner, so let's summon it now. Hup! Oh, here we go. Tuner is on. Got the watch here. Now, let's tune to the key of C in Niagadi tuning. That will be C, G, and then C an octave higher. I'll start with the Ichi no Ito. C. Okay, that says C. Now a G for the Nino Ito. Okay, that's set at G. Now, Sanoito will have this C an octave above the Ichinoito C. All right, we tune to C, G, C. Now let's strum the strings, see where they are. That's below B, should be C. That's just shy of F sharp. And that's kind of sharp of B. Already the pitch is lower because the strings are stretching out. Many newcomers will tighten the strings back to the pitches they want, let's say C, G, C, and discover that as they start playing again, the pitch will go down. Even with repeated tightenings, the strings just keep stretching, and it makes some folks think that the shamisen is impossible to stay in tune. Whether they realize it or not, the stretching is required to make the strings eventually stabilized. It needs to be done. 
but simply tightening the string, waiting it for it to lower, tightening again, and repeating, that's super time consuming and can take hours for the strings to fully stretch and stabilize. And that isn't required. Fortunately, there's a super cool trick that most all professional shamisen players use, and now we will uh, learn how. First, after the new strings are attached, tune them up two tones above the final tone you want. For example, we want CGC, so let's tune to EBE. -E. Normally, that's a very high key for shamisen, but it's fine for the purpose of stretching the brand new strings. This is already A sharp, it's gone down further. Oops. stretching out, but this is good. Now take your finger and put it underneath the string and put your thumb on top of the string, like so. Now push your thumb down to the sol and pull up on your finger. This will intensely stretch the string between these two points. Start at the coma, like right down here, and move up to the end of the sol, right here at the tenji. That's gone down. Doing this will force the string to stretch very quickly. Don't worry about breaking them. In general, the string tension for shamisen is much lower than, say, guitar. So you, you don't have to be super delicate with the strings when stretching. In fact, if you've replaced all three strings, like this one, you can put your fingers under all strings, like so, then curl them together in your hand and put your thumb on top of all of them. Again, starting from the coma, just push down and stretch like so. There we go. Now let's check our tuning. That's C sharp, G sharp, C sharp. Wow, that's actually pretty even, just lower from where we were. Right now we're at C sharp, let's tune down to our final key of C. And now that we're here, let's just give it another stretch. Put your fingers underneath, put your thumb on top of the strings, and pull them up till we get to the top. And we'll check again. That's right on C. That's just about G. And there we go. B -b -b -bonus. One quick addition before we move on. This stretching technique will take care of 90% of the stabilizing process. However, as we strike the strings, the I think the vibration causes the strings to relax and makes it stretch out a little more. So as you play, you'll find the strings might still go down a little bit. And for that, you just uh, tune it back up and you know, it'll, it might still go down a little bit, but in general, it holds much more than if you were never to do this at all. So it's not a 100% immediate fix, but it takes out so much of the stretching time. And that's a good thing. Moving on. All right, so check this out. We tuned up to E, and this intense stretching, the strings lower down to C sharp. And we could say the strings are more or less stabilized at C sharp. If we had tuned to D and did the stretching, the C sharp most likely would have also been around C, closer to our final tuning. And then the strings would have been stabilized more or less there. By tuning up a bit too high, which made the strings end up one tone above our final pitches, I had to lower down one tone until I got CGC. Now that creates its own issue, but something that's completely natural for all shamisen players. In fact, that's the next reason why shamisen go out of tune. 
either you're changing key or tunings. Again, this goes back to the confused person I saw online who, in order to validate the theory that shamisen have a mind of their own tuning-wise, he shared a video of shamisen players raising their hand up to the itumaki to tune while playing in order to keep the shamisen in tune. I guess this gave the impression that the shamisen spontaneously decided to change tuning and the players have to uh, control it like a wild horse. The actual reason goes back to physics. Fundamentally, there is no ultimate point where the string is fully stretched out and will immediately hold tension wherever you tune it to because the strings have an elastic-like tension. For example, as we tuned up to C, the strings were lowering because they were stretching out. We then tuned to E and did that stretching trick, which more or less stabilized them to the key of C sharp. Now, if we were to again tune it back up to E, they would again start stretching out a little bit, which would cause the string to lower because it's no longer stable, increase the tension. Now, when the strings were at C sharp and I lowered down to C, the opposite thing happens. When we lower tension, the string will naturally contract as it wants to return to its original length. However, because the string is held from here and here, they can't fully return to its original length. And thus, the shrinking between these points will raise the tension, which raises the pitch. So if we check the tuning, all of the strings are slightly above C because the strings have contracted which raise the tension and raise the pitch. So the remedy for this is to just manually turn the itamaki back to the pitch we want. There we go. It's very close. I don't want to give the impression that lowering the strings will just raise it back up, you know, a tone plus. It's not going to change as much as the stretching of brand new strings. But still, it's enough that you know, as a player plays, they're going to want to, you know, manually adjust while they're playing to keep it, you know, tuned as much as possible. Players who regularly change tunings will notice this a lot. Often, uh, when we're playing in Niagari, and we want to change to Honchoshi, that will require us to lower the Ninoito by two tones. So let's say we play one song in Yagari, the next song we're going to do Hon Choshi, we lower down, start playing, and then midway th through, we no notice that the pitch might raise to... Why is that? That's because of the contracting string. So that's why a lot of players do this on stage. Maybe they're playing Akita and Katabushi or something, and they'll just bring their hand up tune this there, and then continue on with the song. At a certain point, you will have the experience and awareness to be able to adjust the itamaki while you play and have the muscle memory to know just how much to turn it to get back to the pitch you want. This is because when you've frequently gone from Niagari to Honchoshi, the string will contract more or less the same amount every time. And as you adjust, time after time after time, you know, you'll just have an internal sense of that feeling, like just how much the wrist goes like that. And eventually, you'll be playing a fast song, notice that the pitch is out, or already have a feeling that the pitch will be going out, and your hand can launch up, turn just enough, and return back to the melody, knowing that you've successfully gotten it back in tune. More or less. So when you see performers adjust their tuning a lot during a performance, that's because they've changed either the key or the tuning right before the song started, and the strings are just naturally doing their stretching or contracting thing, and the player knows just where to adjust to get it back in tune. You'll see this a lot in groups with singers because they'll change keys more often to suit the song to the singer's vocal range. Thus, they'll be perhaps playing in the key of B and then Next song, they'll raise up to C or D, and then we'll have to accommodate the stretching strings. However, if a player is performing with no tuning or key changes, and the strings are already stabilized to a particular tuning, there won't be any need to adjust the itumaki. This has been the case for me many times. Every so often, I'll have a local gig, 
and occasionally I'll be lazy and just play the entire set in Yagari. There's no other players or singers, so no need to change keys, and I'm not changing the tuning. The strings are stable, so I don't even have to adjust the tuning even once. There's no need to. The strings have stabilized. Now, if you understand this and find your shamisen still goes out of tune, the reason might be in the way your shamisen is set up. And in part two, we shall address this. Kyle Abbott.